Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is your top 10 new comic books to buy this upcoming new comic book day, Wednesday the 13th. I've got some great information for you and a great prize. Stay tuned. Okay guys, welcome back. This should be a pretty reasonably easy video. Um, I read almost everything that came out, or uh, well, that will come out, sorry. Um, there are a couple cool covers, not as many as usual. And I'll give you some comic book reviews on some books. I'll try not to spoil it too bad um, so you can enjoy the books. And we also have the Lee Rogers giveaway giveaway. That's right, the Lee Rogers giveaway giveaway. Every week, if you subscribe, comment, like, Make sure to subscribe and comment. Um, you get entered in to win the next week. So we're going to be doing the prizes away from uh, giveaway from last week. Um, I'll go ahead and show you the prizes really quick. Mr. Lee Rogers giveaway giveaway is giving away the whole set of the X Men. You know the Jim Lee Claremont whatever uh, run all or the five covers of number one, not the whole set. Well, it is the whole set, but not the whole run. So I believe you get the gatefold and all the other ones. So thank you so much for the Lee Rogers giveaway giveaway. Again, please subscribe and comment. Um, I'd also ask that you please watch the entire video. It really helps. Um, but what we're going to do first is uh, we're going to go over. I've kind of mixed in some number ones and covers in this beginning part because I read them and they didn't make the top for me. So let's get right to covers okay to start we have avengers inc number one the leo romero avengers 60th anniversary homage cover uh it is a homage of avengers 4 um i read the book it was okay i don't know if i'm gonna pick up number two but it was okay i like that cover though batman number one facts edition foil those are beautiful in person reprinting number one um, and they're just really nice. Harriet Tubman, Demon Slayer, number one, the FOC Kirby, Kirby homage cover. I don't have that book yet, so I can't tell you anything about it because that's through Diamond. Killmore, number one. Now, that book's like a bunch of serial killers going to this one town. It's kind of interesting. Uh, you might like it. Miles Morales, Spider-Man, number 10, the 10 copy. Besides that, nothing in that book, really. Negaduck, number one. Red Goblin, number eight. Great cover, decent read. Scarlet Couture, Munich Files, number two. Cover A by Chu. And B by Taylor. The Taylor cover reminds me of uh, Johnny Depp's poop, bed pooping ex-wife. I don't know why. Spine Tingling Spider-Man, number zero. Um... Here's cover A. I actually didn't read this book because they all were packed to ship out. I didn't want to read someone else's book. Um, I think I ordered a Momoko cover. By the way, those Momoko covers don't come out till next week for some reason. Uh, so the first two covers got here, the regular and the Greg Lamb, but the Momo doesn't come out till next week. And this is a reprinting of, I think, the Marvel Unlimited app stories. The Exile number six cover C, Men in Black. Venom Annual One. Now this book was basically Deadpool versus Venom. It was kind of funny, like a battle for the Tournament of Chaos. I won't tell you who won, but it was kind of funny. And last but not least, as I said, this will be a short video. Creep Show, volume two, number one. There are some fun stories in that book. Uh, but at the end of the book, there are three full pages of the new Transformer comic which is actually up for pre-order right now. You can call your stores right now if you want to order the new Transformers book, or you can, if you buy from me, economicsandcomics.com, still available today for pre-order. Just get, try to get all your orders in uh, by 9 p.m. Eastern, okay? All right, let's hit you with the top 10. Here we go. Number 10, Alligator Loki, number one. I don't care much for this book. 
but it is the first alligator alligator Loki in a comp in comic book print. Okay. <laughs> Huge key. Number nine, World's Finest Teen Titans number three. I'm showing you the one in twenty five Pinotion cover because I love it. Uh, first appearance of Toy Boy in the book has some little things happen at like a Comic Con. And at the end there's a mention of the new Terror Titans, so that could be something. Number eight, Captain Marvel Dark Tempest number three. First full appearance of the Feral Five. I gotta be honest, none of these is something that I'm interested in, but they are keys. And out of everything this week, you know, there you go. Number seven, Ghost Rider number 18. First of all, good read. Origin of Talia, very interesting. Um, I think there's a first appearance of a character called Stefan Scar. And I, it's not Scar Scar that we know. I think it's somebody else. Is it? No, it's not Scar. Is it? No, it's not. So that could be, it's someone from her past that deals with like devil magic and stuff like that. This is a good read and a possible key. Well, it is an origin of Tali, so it is a key. Number six is Venom 25. Here's the 25 copy Habachi Habji cover. And the Ken Lashley foil cover is sick. They were all really nice. We've had good luck on the foils through over here at the store. So basically, this is an oversized read. Oversized read. It's a good story. Battle of Eddie and Doom throughout time. Nothing about Black Widow. So I'm guessing Venom 26, which is for pre-order this weekend, will be that first full or first full cameo of that new Black Widow character. I suggest ordering it. Don't make the mistake not to. Um, but there are some little fun things in here. Kings in this book. They mention... Um, uh, Rascal, Red Goblin, uh, Normies thing. Some little little things in there, but not a big key or anything. Number five, I have Daredevil number one, the Lozano foil variant, is sick. So basically they're restarting. Before Matt went to hell, he died. Well, he's back, and he has some memory issues. Um, he is a full-on priest. Um, Elektra watches over him. There's an appearance of like a demon that takes over Elektra and which I don't know if it's a first fool or not. And basically Matt starts to remember things again. This is kind of the number one beginning everything. Nothing a huge key there, but that Lozano foil cover is sick. And it was, it was a good read. All right. Number four was a better read. Werewolf by Night number one. Here's the regular cover, which I like the most. The Adam Hughes variant. And the 25 copy Hidden Gem. It was a fun read. Um, I like this book. I wish there was more like it. Um, and if you're into the horror and stuff like that, I think I'll just leave it to you to read it. But I love that cover, eh? All right. Top three. Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi number one, the photo cover. The 25 copy variant. I think it would probably have some heat to it. Listen, I didn't have to read it because it was like episode one of the Kenobi story from Disney Channel. But it is the first Reva, the third sister of the Inquisitors, in a comic. Marvel comic, at least. So there you go. Plus that one in 25 is pretty good. Number two, Batman and Robin number one. And it would have gone later in the list, but because of the art germ foil cover, which is Bunnylicious, it had to get number two. Sick cover. A good read, too. Damien moves in with his dad, right? And they're working things out. They're fighting crime together. It's very interesting. I'm pretty sure there's this new character in the shadows. You can't really see him. You see like a hooded guy. Um, it was a decent read. It's all current with everything else going on with Batman, the regular run. So it's all current with the Catwoman storyline and all that. But it's those two trying to figure out how to live together. Um, and I think someone's going to try to turn Damien against her dad. I'm not exactly sure. But that cover, that art room cover is sick. Probably cover of the week, right? It's just too butter. And number one, 
100% is Batman Gargoyle of Gotham number one. Bear with me. I'm just going to, actually, I'm just going to show you cover A by Grandpa. Sick. Now, about a month ago, there was an ash can that came out. It was like all black and white inside with no words. So it looked good, but I didn't know what type of words was going to be in it, what, how the story was going to read, right? Well, this one has words, and a lot of them, and it's awesome, okay? Remember how I was talking about last week, ASM 33, bringing me back as a kid? This kind of does the same thing. It's almost like it's an alternate reality, even though it's not. I don't, I don't, I can't really explain it. It could be, um, but it reminds me of the new Batman movie that just came out, which I didn't like. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't like the new Batman movie because I thought he was the stupidest detective in the world in that movie, and the Riddler pissed me off, and everything just bothered me when I compared it to the Batman I know. Not the movies, but the Batman. I think they did a poor job. A lot of you are going to agree, or not agree with me. That's fine. A lot of you aren't Gen X and badass like most of us that are watching, which is totally fine. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's get back to the story. It was an excellent read. It, you know, talking about his equipment and stuff. Basically, the idea here in this book is Batman wants to, like, fake the death of Bruce Wayne. He hasn't done it yet. So he can really commit to saving Gotham without this wealthy alter ego. He doesn't have to be him anymore. It hasn't happened yet. But there is a new bad guy um, in the, the whole, I forgot his name, but he's pretty badass. And it's a first full. He's in it a lot. Um, he... He beats up Batman quite a bit. Um, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to say too much, but the read was definitely what I expect from a Batman book from the old days, kind of. Um, the, there's a, also a new car. I think he calls it like the mind control car or something. He's got a bunch of new toys and stuff like that, but it also feels younger, a little earlier, even though it's. I guess not. I don't know. All I know, it was. Pro it was the best read of the week for me. And I expect it to be really good. And I'm hoping for the best. The bad guy's cool. There's a lot of cool stuff in it. And you should definitely pick up a copy of that book at your store on Wednesday for sure. It's worth it. I have a feeling that that ash can that came out, which was one per store, will go up once people know what the words were in that book. Because it really changes everything. It really makes it really good. Okay. Okay. That being said, it's time for the Lee Rogers giveaway giveaway. Um, we're going to go ahead and put the randomizer right here. All you guys got to do again is subscribe and comment, and you'll be entered next week to win whatever the next week's prize is. The winner is Grady. Grady said, love the story you talked about being a kid 30 years ago or something like that when I was talking about ASM last week. A lot of people, after they read it, Last week after I was done talking about it and then they read it, they totally understood what I was talking about. So I'm glad I did a good review on that. That book was awesome. And I hope the best for the new stuff coming up um, in ASM. I have a real good feeling about that. Um, okay, so Grady, you won all this. Dude, sweet. All you got to do is message me at my store. Uh, just set up an account, economistincomics.com, and then message me through the store. Hey, this is Grady. Um, he, I want on YouTube. Here's my name. Uh, everything's set in there, name and address. And I will ship you off these books. That is it. Uh, if you guys want to catch the top 10 pre order video, you can right now. It'll be up at the end. And uh, make sure to get all your orders in as soon as possible. That being said, stay sick, and we'll see you later.